Niger YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate your likes of my video, the watch. I appreciate uh, the thumbs up that you give me. This is a thumbs up for you also. I thank you to my old subscribers. If you're just passing by, also thank you so much. I really do appreciate your like. Yeah, for stopping by if you're a stranger, thank you so much. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like my video share my video if you find this video helpful at the end of the day please do not hesitate to hit on the like button and if you are new and you haven't subscribed please subscribe and then do not forget to hit on the notification bell just by the side of the subscribe button to get updates and, if, and or to get updates whenever i upload a new video so yeah that's just the essence and if you like like i said like this video and share it with your friends so today's one is actually gonna be a quick one. This is a very trendy and dress. I'm gonna be showing you how to cut and sew an Agbada dashiki dress. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be teaching you how to cut today. Agbada dashiki dress. So it's really gonna be quick. Like the fabric that I have here, I have two and a half yards of uh, fabric. You can actually make use of two yards also. So it depends on the the person the size of the person so now i as you can see my fabric is already folded into two so i folded into two so the length of the dress i'm gonna actually gonna be making use of the entire length so what i actually have is like 45 inches so i'm making use of everything so i folded into two so i'm gonna be folding it again into four like this so for this dress the stitch is actually going to be inside it's not going to be the outer one so i'm going to be using my entire length that's for the sleeve of this and uh, agbada dashiki i'll be making use of the entire length for my sleeve so i'll just measure it you can always measure to know but for this i'm going to be making use of the entire length what i actually have here is on um, 20 two inches so i'm making use of it allowance included you, for you to know how how long you want your sleeve to be you can actually measure by putting your tape at the back that's the center of your back that's the back part and then measure to 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 whatever if you want it here or wherever you want it to be you can actually measure it so but for this i'll be making use of the entire length so the next okay. thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be imputing my measurement the first thing i'm going to be doing now I use the standard uh, measurement to slant out my shoulder. So, which I'm going to be doing from half an inch here. You can decide to make use of one, but I'll choose to make use of half an inch. So, I'll just make this half an inch rule here, like my shoulder line. So, that would be my shoulder line, which I'll use to stitch. So, from this point now, from this point, I'll just measure out my neck measurement first the neck measurement before i do the shoulder part so i'll make use of four inches that's for the width of the neck i'm going to be cutting the back and the front together so this is the the four inch <clears throat> measurement so from the half an inch measurement the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll make uh, the back neck i'm going to be making use of one and a half inch that's for the back because i'll cut i'll be cutting the back and the front together so this is the back and then the front inch i'm going to be making use of uh, four and a half inch but i'm still going to be putting a keyhole on it so this is the the back neck and then this is the front neck so i'm going to put in a four inch keyhole here when i'm done so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll be making use doing my shoulder slant i'll be making use of my shoulder slant so for the shoulder slants, and that's sorry for I'll be, I'll be doing my sleeve. Sorry, so for the sleeve, that's the round armhole of my sleeve. I'm going to be making use. You can make use between a um, twelve and eleven inch. So it depends on how fat the person is, how the size of the person rather. So I'm making use of twelve inches for this. I'll make use of twelve inches. That's from the half an inch line. I'll make use of twelve inches. So the next thing now, the waist measurement since this is an agbada dashiki you don't really need uh, this measurement but there are some people that really do, do they, don't, they don't really want it to be too extra bogus so yeah you, you don't really want it to be extra bogus even at that you won't get the fitting 
for it so you still have to trim it a bit so for the the waistline i'll be making use of 17 inches so this is just like my waistline i'm just using this just like like as a guide so that's why i'm doing this and then my hip part the hip part i'll be measuring nine inches from this point to this point so this is where i'm going to be imputing the hip even though like i told you it's not a shaped dress and then the down part so the next thing I'm going to be doing now, from this um, armhole, my armhole, I use 12 inches, from this armhole, I'll come in by 4 inches. You can do, do 4 or 5 inches. I'll just come in by 4, 4 inches like this. So i just mark it here. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing now for the, for the, the bust measurement that I'm going to be using, I'll use um, 17 inches. That's from this point now. I'll make use of 17 inches. So this is my 17 inches. So that was why I came by by 4 inch. So I just make a slant like this to meet my 17 inches. I told you the reason for doing this is just that I just don't want it to be too extra bogus. So that's why. For a slim person, you don't expect them to use the entire length. So, so that's my slant. So And then I'll slant it. I'll just be bringing it down. Then for the hip part, I'll be making use of 18 inches. So this is my 18 inches. And then when I get to the down part, I'm still going to be reducing the down part again. I'll reduce the down part a little bit. The, the, this part will be bogus, but the down will still be a little bit smaller. Just to give it one kind of fit. Like that. So for the down part, I'll make use of 16 inches. So now I'm just going to be joining my lines like this. So you can see what I have. I don't want this part coming out. So I'll just blend it like this. I'll just blend it. So the down part of my Agbada that she can be a little bit smaller why the upper part will be big so the next thing i'll do now the next thing i'll do now i'll be putting my shoulder slope so i'll use one inch to drop it here and then i'll slant it to the neck point I'll increase the one inch that I took from that place. I'll add it back to this point. So I'll still get my I'll, so I, I'll still have my 12 inches. So I'll add it back here. So I'll cut out the back part first. So I'll cut out the sides. So I'll open it up and then cut out the front neck. So I'll be inserting my keyhole. So I have already have four and a half here. So I don't want it. You can always measure for you to know how deep. It will be so I have like um eight inches here. So everything that I'm going to be doing is going to be eight inches. So I'll stop I'll be stopping it here. So my keyhole will now be like um three and a half inches. So I'll just slant it out like this. I'll just slant it out. You can decide to use half an inch, depends on how wide you actually want it to be. I just slant it out like this a bit. So this is the front. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to insert my dashiki pocket. That's the normal regular Agbada pockets. You know these hidden pockets. So that is what I am going to be doing now. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be cutting out the facing for the front neck and then for the back neck.
So I'll cut the back one. So I'll take it to the machine now and join it and then come back and show you how to insert the pocket like I said initially. Mm -hmm. Insert the pocket, not the normal regular pocket. So I can just open it and show you from the inside. You can see how it is done. So that's what I'll come back to show you how you attach this inner pocket from the inside of the Agbada Dashiki. And then it comes out looking like this on the fabric. Then do my coupling and then come back and show you. Okay, welcome back guys. So you can see my Agbada Dashiki dress. So I finished coupling everything on my dress. You can see the interfacing. Uh, so the facing for the neck. I finished the neck. It's well ironed out. And then for the pocket on the side. So I have my slit ready for the pocket. In order to do this kind of pocket, what I normally do, you can decide to measure yourself from your shoulder to know where your pocket is going to be starting from. So because our torsos are, are, are different at times so for this I use 17 inches so this is 17 inches so that's where the opening of my first that's the first opening is of 17 inches and then I made it the length I made it 6 inches you can see 6 inches so 17 inches from the shoulder to the start of the pocket is 17 inches then 7 inches more width as in that's the length 7 inches so now i'll be showing you how to connect this type of pocket okay, this is how the pocket is going to look like you can see how it is it looks funny right so this is how it's going to be and i'm going to show you how to connect it so the next thing i'll do now i'll cut out i'll show you how to cut it out in order for you to get it right and perfectly well So, in order to do this, to get this pocket, you can see it's just like a bag. So, the easiest way for us to do this is, um, I'll take my tape like this. I'll measure about 20, between 21 to 22 inches. So, I'll just use the ent entire length here. And then the width of what I want is actually 7 inches. So, after, after joining the edge, it actually returns, okay, what I have here is 6 and a half inches. So, I need like seven and a half inches so after sewing it actually returns back to six and a half here so can use seven and a half inches like i said like this and then i'll be taking it to the top so i'm just going to be cutting out my paper like this So this is the strap, the long strap for this um, pocket, for this dashiki pocket. So the next thing I'll do now, you just take your, your fabric like this and then you fold. You can see what I have here. So the, the, the fold depends on the depth that you actually want. Depends on how deep you want your the pocket to be. That's this um, back point. So how deep. So for this, I have um, about um, 7 inches. So I have about 7 inches. So I'm just going to use this measurement. So this is it. You just fold it like this. And then the next thing that you're going to be doing now is this top part. You can see this top part, the slim part. So you just fold. This is already folded. So the next thing you do, you fold it like this again. And then I'll use three inches for this point. You can see this point is a little bit narrower than the down part. That's, that's the top part. So I'll use three inches for this point. So this is my three inches. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm bringing it to this point. That's from here. I'm taking it diagonally like this to this point. I'll just use my ruler like this to make a rule like this. To just rule it out like this. So this is it. So I'll just cut it out. And when I get to this point, that's this back point, I will stop. So I'll just stop. And then this is what you can see what I have here. It's looking the same. So the next thing you do now, how to stitch this, you just take it 
to your machine and then you fold the edges like this you fold this point also and when you get to this point you stop you fold this point also and then you stop and then you take like this you stitch it from the back though you stitch it you run it from the back and when you're done you turn it and then you have this you can see what i have here so this is what i have here just like this you just stitch and then you stop and then you stop stitch this point and then you stop so i'm going to be using this now to cut out the second one for you to just see how it is being done so i'll fold like this and then stitch this point and then come back and show you so i'll just keep this aside to make this video fast i'll keep it aside so that's what we'll do and then in the fixing so I'm, i'll just use this i'll continue in order to fix this you open your dress your umbrella that she can you open it from the inside and then you turn it like this so this is the pocket point i'm going to pin it and then take it to my machine and show you how to couple it so this is the the space that we have here you can see the space so this is what we are going to be doing you take this like this and then you stitch you stitch this point to give you those clean neat edges that's from this point to give to give the the pocket clean stitch so I'll stitch this point like this. I'll just run a stitch like this, a square stitch like this. I'll just mark it so you see it. That's from the beginning point like this. Just like those dashiki, those pockets that you have on the dashiki, you stitch it and then we'll show you on the machine. So this is the pocket, this is the point. So you fold the edges like this. You just fold like this. You can see what I have here, just fold it like this. And then, so I'm going to run a stitch along this place now so you can see you can see the opening of the, the pocket you can see this so this is how the outside part is going to be so the next thing we're going to do now I'm going to be attaching the the pocket from inside so for you to have that dashiki uh, kind of stitch look on it so i'll just continue so in order to attach the pocket now what you do you can see how i'm i'm, I'm facing on the agbada it's facing up this is the, the top part and then this is the down part so so you you can see our pocket that's like our bag our pouch or whatever you choose to call it so you take it like this and then you place the middle make sure you have the midpoint so i just take it like this and then i'll fold this point because i don't want it this part to be looking rough so i just fold it like this and then bring it below not on top of the opening not on top but the down part so you pin it to secure it this is the part we are sewing this is the part we are stitching we are not touching this part so you come like this now and then I'm going to be running a stitch here that's from this end to this end And then the next thing I'll do, I have my first stitch now, so I can take out my pin. And then I'm going to be bringing this on top of this. I'll bring it to this point. You can see the other end, upper part, the other upper part of the opening. So I'll place it like this. And then I'll use this my pin again to secure it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now. 
I'm going to be stitching on this line. You can see the first line that we did that we got to this point. So I'm going to be following this line now from this point. This was the first stitch we did. So I'll start it from the stitch here and then stitch like this, like this, and then come back to those points to this point of that stitch again so that's what i'm going to be doing in order to do that so i'll get a clean stitch i'm going to start it from one side so i'll just start it from here make sure i look at it and make sure the the the, the thread So it's okay. So now you follow. The, you can decide to sew on this line or however you want to. So you can see what I have here. See how beautiful it is. In doing this, you can decide to do it in another way. You can decide to cut another fabric and just stop stitch it here that's if you want to change for instance if you want to make use of like a, a black fabric you can say to just cut a black fabric and then top stitch it here to, to just change the pattern of uh, the, the pocket so you can decide to do that so i'll take it now to my ironing table and iron it and then show you the concluding part so i have now come to the end of this um of this um, video sorry so if you like what I did with this Agbada that she came, please do not hesitate to like this video, share it, and comment if you're having any problem. So you can see how we did the pockets, how it made the pockets. So you can see how it came out so well, perfectly well. So you can see it's just so hidden inside with a clean stitch out here. So. so you can see the keyhole and the neck part and then the neck so thank you so much guys for watching thank you so much <laughs>